Alright YouTube, so I wasn't even planning on putting out a video today, and this is clearly a game that I wasn't ever planning on talking about. Usually we do an every other day upload, sometimes it's daily content, but whatever. So as I got up this morning, I got on Twitter like I normally do, checking social medias every day to see what's going on, and I see some shit that I couldn't really believe. And it's that Insomniac Games is already showing and revealing DLC for this new Spider-Man game, even though the game isn't even out yet. For those of you that are getting this new Spider-Man game, you, and if you keep up with the info or the news for it, you probably already heard about this, but again, I don't cover, you know, I'm not, I don't have a PS4, everything I do is on Xbox, so I don't keep up with this game because I have no interest in it because I can't even play it. This is, like, scummy as hell. Like, I'm, I can't recall this ever happening before. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't, maybe you guys can give me an example in the comments, but I cannot recall a game that isn't even out to play yet. It's not even released, you can't even buy it in stores yet. And they're already showing off deals. They have three planned DLCs for this year. They have something, this new DLC that they announced is coming out in October. They have one coming out in November, one coming out in December. Three DLCs announced for this game already, and the game's not even out yet. Look, there's absolutely nothing wrong with supporting your game post-launch with more content. But how do you already have these done? How do you already have these DLCs finished with the names and, and images and trailers or whatever? The, like, how? This means, is this cut content? It sounds like it's cut content they made into DLC, because how the hell is this not in the full game if you already have them done? Again, they already have a teaser trailer for the first piece of DLC, and the game is not even out yet. I gotta keep reiterating that to you guys. DLC trailer game not out yet like how terrible do you have to be to already be trying to push more content to these people when the game hasn't released like they're already having trying to get you to buy like a special edition of the game where you will have access to these three pieces of dlc like right now today you can go on the playstation store and pay 25 dollars and buy all three pieces of dlc in a bundle or you can wait until they release and pay 10 dollars each which of course will cost 30 dollars so they're trying to get you like hey guys if you buy it now you can save five dollars this is kind of equivalent to a season pass. A lot of people seem to have problems with season passes, and that's fair. Like buying, you know, hey, I'm gonna buy you know, all the DLC ahead of time, even though I don't know what it is. I guess this is slightly better than that because you kind of know what you're getting, at least with this teaser trailer. You know what the first piece of DLC is about, and you at least have names for the next two pieces of DLC. But still, like already pushing DLC before the release is is something that I've, I can't recall ever happening. Again, I want an example in the comments if it has happened before, but I just can't recall in recent memory of this happening. Like, you expect games to have DLCs. Pretty much every game has downloadable content add-ons these days or expansions, whatever you want to call them. Call of Duty, every year you expect, was it, like three or four map packs and some zombie maps. You know that's coming pretty much every year with Call of Duty. And look, Activision, Call of Duty, that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty extreme comparison. We know how bad they are. But you know what you're getting. He's like, you buy the season pass for Call of Duty, you know you're getting a shit ton of maps. Whether or not they're good or bad, of course you don't know that yet. But you know what you're getting, extra maps. And I'm not trying to compare Insomniac Games to Activision. Like, Activision is pretty damn bad. They're up there with some of the worst out there in terms of uh, milking their fan base. But still, to already be pushing post-launch content so soon is just unheard of to me. And this first piece of DLC already having a teaser trailer, we already know what it's going to be about and everything like that, seemingly it's probably finished. Is that not a bit of like confirmation, I guess, that, that it has to almost be a level of cut content and turn into DLC? Because how is it possible to have this game already finished? Because you should be still working on the main game, polishing the main game, making sure it's ready for release. And to already have this DLC, what seems to be more or less finished, it has to be some sort of cut content. And again, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know every single game out there, but how often do games get a piece of DLC the first month after release? Because this game is pretty big, but this seems to be a pre pretty big open world, probably going to be a lot of things to do. Shouldn't people still be playing this game within the first month? Like, how uh, how are you... Is, does it, is this like a bit of confirmation that the game's also short or something? Because when I play an open world game, me personally, if it's a big open world, I'm trying to do everything. I'm a completionist, and that, I think it's what a lot of people like about open world games, is a lot of things to do. So I can't even imagine delving into a DLC with this game, because I imagine by October 23rd, I would still be playing the game. I'd still be exploring, probably not even have the story done yet. Also, random bit of speculation, just because I realized what the date was, October 23rd, that's a few days before RDR 2 releases. Do you think? Do you guys happen to think that the, the, maybe they're trying to take the eyes off of Red Dead Redemption 2 a little bit, or maybe try to keep the eyes on Spider-Man a little bit so that RDR2 doesn't just destroy it. Because undoubtedly, Red Dead Redemption 2, it will be the best-selling game this year, 100%. You can't even refute that. Their last game, GTA 5, which was released on a lot of platforms, I'll give you that, was you know the second or third best-selling game like ever of all time. This game will be the best-selling game this year, 100%. 
And look, if you're a fan of Insomnia games, you're a fan of this game, you're super excited for this game, maybe this is the game you're looking forward to the most this year, let me know if this bothers you, because me, as as a part of the, if I was a part of this community, it would bother me. As an example, I'll give you an example that relates to the channel. Fallout 76, Bethesda. If Bethesda was already showing us teaser trailers for the first piece of DLC for Fallout 76, I would be upset. Now this example doesn't exactly hold up because the post-launch add-ons, DLC, expansions, whatever you want to call them, for Fallout 76 are going to be free. But you get my point. This could go to any game that I'm going to play. Like if I was buying any game, interested in any game, and the game's not out yet, and they're already trying to push DLC to me, I would be pissed off. You'd hear me rage about it. I don't know, guys. I just felt like talking about this and discussing it, so let me know your thoughts below. Again, I don't even have a dog in this fight. I'm not even going to play this game. I don't have a PS4. Don't know that I'll ever actually get a PS4, so I'll probably never even be able to play this game. But when I open up Twitter, the first thing I see in the morning is, you know, PlayStation and Insomniac, like, hey guys, buy some DLC for Spider-Man, even though we got a few days until release. That upsets me and bothers me, and I don't want to see this become a regular thing in the gaming community. So anyways, let me know your thoughts below, and if you guys want to enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter at TheDashingDavid, at my Discord, links to my social networks are in the description, into the outro. Later, guys. Forever for a while, give me forever for a while, quit